Got a shotgun mic right out of the, the camera here. That should be picking up the audio a little bit better. Yes, folks. Hello and welcome to another Thursday. It's episode 22. And just like I said, it was just gonna be like that. <laughs> and we're sitting here again for another video. Fire away with the questions. I'll try to answer as much as I can while we're playing this video. And as you might know, this is not actually live. <laughs> I'm recording this a few hours before it airs because I'm too much of a chicken to do it live so far and uh, I want to be able to chat to you at the same time and I've got loads of excuses. So this is uh, pre-recorded, uh, I can chat with you and the whole idea with the premiere is that we can watch it together. Maya, if you've, she's, she's been in a few videos, uh, she's my five-year-old daughter. She drew her brother, her sister, her mother and herself and then I said, could I be in the picture? There I am. She really put a lot of effort into that, didn't she? <laughs> well, at least I made it in, I'm like, and she added her two friends as well, see? <laughs> They're nice, but I got that. I have to be satisfied with that. At least I got it, made it into the picture. So that's a bonus. <laughs> oh, she's funny. So uh, one of the suggestions came in from Clerics on uh, my Patreon page. Thanks for the support and thanks for suggesting a pirate ship. And also on the Discord, a nice guy there named Pirate Teach, I think. Is that how I say it? You also suggested a pirate ship, or at least you made a pirate ship in the chat, and then I got the idea to actually make a pirate ship, and I thought you had suggested it. But here I am, I'm gonna make a pirate ship. Got a bit of a theme going now, because once I made a 10 minute pirate that I rigged, and then following that, I did the five characters, and I included a pirate with a peg leg and, and a parrot. That's what I'm gonna be making this week. I'm gonna make a pirate ship. So I hope you enjoy that one. We'll see how it turns out. Go, it's counting. Auto mirror, tab, A, select everything. Scale on the Y, four. Uh, control R, let's do 15 loop cuts and uh, A, select everything, make a brown pirate ship. Now we should uh, put on proportional editing with uh, this uh, sphere add-on, I think. And then uh, let's see, we'll grab the rear here and pull it there quite high in the back here. So grab, uh, I'm gonna scroll this one down. I should have the inverse one on actually, in the sharp. So let's uh, go on the Z axis here and bring it up to maybe there. They go quite high for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. And then the front here, let's bring that one up as well to, they're a bit shorter, so maybe like that. Let's shift, uh, click, uh, control, select that one, bring it down. And uh, now we'll start extruding this up. So we'll th leave three there, bring it to there. E to extrude, right click. Oh, I have to disable the proportional. And maybe like that. And then let's uh, just select these now, the maybe six here. And then E to extrude right click to snap it back and uh, let's deselect these three e to extrude that on and bring that one up so that we've got uh, a basic shape for the pirate ship control r uh, do a few loop cuts here and let's uh, select shift control select this whole bottom here and g x and bring that in actually we want the proportional again and uh, scroll it down a bit get a shape here for the pirate ship that should do and then here we should uh, bring the front in as well now so let's bring these in and uh, let's see, I want it on the axis there. So maybe like this and get that one with us as well. And these can't be too picky here. I'm running out of time already. <laughs> so G, uh, let's see, G to move that one. Y axis, proportional. Okay, I'm, oh, that's gonna have to do in that shape. Uh, we'll, let's do like a, some sort of a, um, a keel thing. Is that what it's called? Uh, where it goes around here. Actually, we should... Uh, select this whole loop now and make it a little bit more narrow so let's move that one in to there deselect that one i'm wasting a lot of time on this stuff that's not even going to be seen hardly so let's go to there oh okay i have to select these here in stages oh too many okay let's hold shift and just manually select these how am i doing for time 740 alt e extrude long face normals that's okay Let's make this little front thing here as well, extrude that one up. Not a lot of extrusion and scaling here yet, so scale that one down, bring that up. Let's make a deck here now as well, we need some decking, so... Uh, okay, C to circle select. Just get this whole uh, sec section here in the front, enter. I to insert that and B to get to the center thing sorted. Alt E to extrude along face normals, bring it down a bit. <clears throat> That's our basic shape of the ship. Now let's make uh, some, uh, the back here we can do uh, maybe this, uh, where the cabins things are. So let's do these two, Alt E to extrude long face normals, and then make this one slightly bigger, or this base one maybe, Alt E to extrude that one. And then let's inset these, make some windows here. The captain's got some nice view here, uh, so like that. Alt E to extrude it in to there, 
and then let's right click and do subdivide these and make some more windows for them. <clears throat> don't think they had so big windows back then. <laughs> I to inset and it's on individual there. Alt E to extrude and let's just do it like that. Delete to center here. I think I've got some issue. <clears throat> oh, I've got proportional editing on. Okay, and then just make that uh, orange. They could glow orange. It's light in there. <laughs> okay, uh, how am I doing? 610. Okay, I need some uh, masts, I guess. Uh, oh no, first I'm gonna make cannons. Let's make some uh, slots here for cannons. Uh, get some additional geometry here. Let's select a few of these. We'll have cannons from here to here, and from here to here, and there, there, there. Cannons. I to inset. Let's make some slots here. Alt E to extrude long face normals and then make it dark in there. <laughs> and now we have to make some cannons as well, so let's just do Shift D on that one to duplicate that face. Scale on the Y. Right click and make it round here with subdivide. And then we'll just select this cross here, scale it. L to select the whole thing, let's color it uh, gray. Oh, apparently not, because I lost the selection. Uh, G. Hello! <laughs> there. Uh, e to extrude that one, scale it down. Let's see. E to extrude, scale it up. E to extrude, <laughs> E to extrude, scale it down. I to ins nope, it's on individual actually. Uh, I to insert twice, so I don't have individual. Control plus, let's make it dark there. Inside the barrel, and then uh, we have to make loads of cannons, don't we? So let's uh, look from the side here, scale it down maybe a little bit. And now we have to duplicate the hmm out of this. So shift D, shift D. They don't have to be perfectly aligned. I doubt that they align the <laughs> cannons perfectly here even though I've got some sort of an OCD thing and I like everything to be aligned. Uh, I should survive this one, I think. So let's just copy this. And hopefully I've got, uh, it looks the same on the other side. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Okay, how am I doing? 435, I need some sails. Uh, maybe a mast there, one there and one here. And okay, uh, Shift D to duplicate, scale. Oh, we need to do uh, individual origins here. So period, individual origins, scale that one down. Move it into there and scale it down even further. And let's make some masts here now. So E to extrude that one up. Oop, right click, we want to extrude it straight up. <laughs> uh, scale those individually down. Let's make the center mast higher. I think they put, uh, sorry for all pirate experts here. I have no idea what a pirate ship actually looks like when it comes to the masts and things. I'm probably breaking some significant naval rules here and this will follow or like Vasa, the Swedish ship. 352, okay, we need some sails here. First, I'm going to make this thing where they stand. I don't know if that's a myth, but... Uh, and then period, do medium point, alt E, extrude long normals, alt E, extrude normals. Uh, right click on that one, extrude. Safety, don't want to fall down from there. Okay, now we need some sails, so shift D, um, just steal that face there. Bring that up and bring it out. White sails, uh, scale it up. I've got no idea what size the sails should be. Uh, sky that may be okay there. Control R, let's do some uh, loop cuts there and then some loop cuts here for some detail. And then so, so, <laughs> do some proportional editing here. Let's swap that one, swap it to sphere G and uh, only on the Y axis and then maybe bring it down and then select all of it. Actually, I'll select that one and bring it out a bit as well. Uh, E, Y, a little bit smaller. Okay, how am I doing? Three, 254. Uh, <laughs> Alt, E, extrude long normals. And there. And actually, I should bring this hold up out a little bit more, maybe. G, Y, and then get some shape on these. Okay, I'm oh, off with the proportion. Okay, um, D, Shift D, duplicate that one. Let's put a whole bunch of sails here. They want to go forward, not, uh, they didn't have so many engines back then, so they're gonna need a lot of sails here. How am I doing? Two minutes, 18. Okay, Shift D, let's make some smaller sails here. And uh, I guess I'm not really putting any, is it called booms or something? But uh, it's low poly, remember? I get away with it, I think. <laughs> so there, and then let's do some sails here as well. There's one. Shift. Uh, I guess we need a pirate flag as well, don't we? So. Okay, and I think they have some sails here in the front as well. Some weird. Uh... Oh, what happened then? <laughs> Shift D. 
bring it down to there. How am I doing? 138, okay, rotate x-axis, rotate z. I have no idea what I'm doing there, but I think it'll, from a distance, <laughs> from a distance it'll look right. I think, I think they have some sort of weird sails in the foundation. Okay, um, that's it. Uh, oh, a pirate flag, pirate flag. Uh, e to extrude that on. Let's do some really cheap, cheap uh, flag here. So scale that on down. Control plus, let's just make it black. And then here, uh, I've got one minute to go. E to extrude, R to rotate, E to extrude, R to rotate. <coughs> Losing my voice. <laughs> e to extrude, R to rotate. Okay, let's make some stairs here as well. They need to be able to get up here. Or first of all, we need to just cut that one. Here they can go in there, and here they can go in on the sides, maybe. Uh, control R here as well. E to extrude that on. Let's put some stairs here as well, so at least to get up here. Uh, Shift D. And let's do Control. Let's see. Uh, e to extrude that on. Control R to there. 13, like 20 seconds or something to go, is it? 26. E to extrude. E to extrude. Oop. E to extrude. E to extrude. E to extrude. E to extrude. Let's shift this whole thing into the so we cover that mistake. Ten seconds to go, and it's got no rudder, but that's okay, I think. And it's got uh, e to extrude. Just make some features. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> okay, uh, it doesn't have all the features of a pirate ship, maybe, but I'm okay with it. I think. It's got uh, some of the main features, I guess. So it's got loads of cannons. How many does it have, in fact? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, times two, 18. Oh, it's a lot of cannons. 21, 42 cannons. 42 is a good number, by the way. <laughs> and it's got some uh, lights here. Maybe the, the rear here could have been shaped a little bit better. And the front, uh, maybe it could have done with some stuff on the decking, but I shouldn't be too critical. I'm quite, uh, quite happy with it anyway. It should uh, do the job. <sighs> Breathe now again. <laughs> Images. Okay, I don't know which one to look at here. Probably this one. <laughs> no. What should I look at? Uh, I should have looked at this a bit more proper before, I shouldn't I? Now I can, I've got the benefit now, I can find a ship that looks a bit similar to the one I just made, I guess. <laughs> I suppose that's cheating. But... Um, okay, is that from... Uh, oh yeah, that's from that series, isn't it? The Black Pearl. Okay, I should have made it a little bit more uh, shaped like a water balloon and uh, a lot taller and uh, better sails than I did and a lot more features and things. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm uh, disappointed that I looked at that now. Maybe I should have just not looked at that. These tiny sails won't even get them across the ocean, will it? <laughs> <laughs> How big are they sails? I should have probably done the bit sails about twice as big. If we add water here, maybe it looks a bit less big. So if I do add plane here, tab, scale it, bring it down a little bit. And then let's uh, sh change the shading of that one as well to um, the same material. UV editing here, A, scale down to zero. Let's make some blue water here. Okay, maybe the sails look a little bit bigger when it's uh, covered a little bit of the ship under the water. This is not going to float very well, is it? <laughs> Why didn't I make it narrower at the back? That looks stupid. Tip this week, I've mentioned that before, but it's worth mentioning again, again because it's quite handy. And that's uh, to use proportional editing. O is the hotkey to enable it. And you can use this little drop down to have different shapes. I used uh, both the sharp here and the sphere to get different shapes when you do the proportional editing. So you can shape it into a... Uh, the boat shape in this case, or the ship shape, and uh, <laughs> ship shape, not sh ship shape. Oh. Okay, uh, you can also do Alt O when you're in, in tab into edit mode here. Alt O. If I press the right keys, I'm all over the show here. Alt O. See that center thing disappeared, and that's uh, the difference there is that it's connected only. So even if you uh, let's say you have this one here, and you do uh, if you don't have connected only here and you do G to move it, it moves the whole ship as well. But if you enable, uh, this is quite a good, so this is the uh, the ultimate tip of this week, and that's to also use this connected only when you do proportional, because then 
you can actually only affect the ones that are linked together. So this, sep this sail here is separate. Uh, so even if the vertices close to it on the ship are there, it's not going to affect that one. So you can scale it really big here and uh, use the mouse wheel, by the way, to scale this uh, movement thing. So remember that one, uh, connected, either you can do it up here with just clicking it, or you can do Alt-O. And if it doesn't work for you, it's probably because uh, same thing what just happened to me when I was going to show you, <laughs> and that's if you're in uh, out of edit mode, so if you've tapped out of that, so you're in object mode, then you can't do this connected only thing. So if you're wondering where that has gone, it's because you had to press tab into edit mode first. Also, I want to say a few more things before I, I depart not depart, that sounded like I was gonna depart <laughs> for a long time. I'm gonna be back, back next Thursday, so don't don't worry about that. Oh yeah, the Discord is blowing up. That's a lot of fun. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining. I think it's got like 350 people in there now. It's a nice little community growing. We're talking about uh, how to do Blender stuff, how to do, do Unity, and we share things. And we also, uh, I've got uh, moderators. I've got three moderators <laughs> that volunteered. So thanks to you guys. I've got C64 Gamer, who's a moderator, and I've also got uh, Alex Rack2 and Deadeye Duck. Thanks a lot, guys. You're awesome. Thanks a lot for the help of keeping the channel uh, nice and tidy for me and uh, keeping the fortress uh, up. <laughs> Can you even say that? And keeping the, keeping the joint, no, keeping the joint. Keeping things going while I'm gone anyway. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm in and out every now and then, and I'm a bit of a Discord noob. Last time I actually accidentally went into the voice chat by mistake, so I was trying to make some music for the game that I'm making, the RTS game, and someone just said, uh, hello, hello, and I thought, okay, I'll say hello back. Uh, I have no idea why someone was talking to me, and then I actually looked and I was connected to my own voice channel in the Discord. So that was like, uh, nice. Uh, I was speaking to Vartan, sorry if I say your name wrong, but it was nice having a chat to you, <laughs> and uh, thanks for sharing some tips about uh, 3D's asset sales. That was a lot of fun to talk to you, so thanks for that. Also, I've hit 60k! <laughs> That's uh, good. I'm happy about that. I'm on my journey now to get the, that uh, silver play button. That's a goal of mine this year. So I've got another 40k uh, subscribers to go. So thanks a lot for subscribing. Really happy about that. And thanks for sharing the video. I'm going to try to beat the algorithm once again and uh, get cracking in there. I've got uh, 17 Patreon supporters now. Uh, that's uh, an addition of 12 since my last video. So thanks a lot for uh, for that support, guys. I'm going to be packaging all the stuff that I've made through all the 10 minute modeling and I'm going to bundle that into a nice big package. So uh, the tier $2 and up will uh, get a download of, uh, of everything. I'll throw some bonus stuff in there that I've created in Blender too. If you want to ha have some extra perks there or if you just want to show your support, head over to my Patreon page and uh, sign up there. It, <laughs> it mean a lot to me if you could. If you can't, that's fine as well. I'm just happy to have you here watching. That's the main thing. So don't worry about if you can't support. Check out this little video by Billy J. Jackson. Uh, he looked at my uh, Blender tutorial. It's not a tutorial, the 10 minute modeling. You'll recognize this uh, character here, one of the pirates that I did, the rig pirates. And he made uh, his own one and he actually made a whole uh, video of it. I think he spent a week on this. So I'll share the link here. Yeah, go and watch this video, give it a little bit of credit. It's uh, super cool to see this one and great job. Uh, happy to see what you've uh, created. And I'm also happy to see the whole internet is blowing up with a lot of low poly stuff. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. Keep, uh, keep uh, generating stuff in Blender and uh, I'll speak about Unity in my next Unity video as well because people are doing awesome stuff based on the low poly racer tutorial that I'm doing as well. So keep everything up, guys, everything, including your thumbs and uh, hit that like button if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next Thursday yet again for episode 23. Until then, have a great week. Bye for now.